to Tattoo Titans. Here, the best professional tattoo artists from around the country battle each other and the clock as they compete for $10,000. Well, what am I gonna do with this thing? To get it, they'll have their skills tested in three rounds of challenges. You want a bad ass dragon. Our panel of industry heavyweights. This person is gonna have that for the rest of her life. Will judge the artist's work. This is the worst dragon yet. In this battle, four tattoo artists will enter, but only one will leave with bragging rights and the cash prize. It's just one big hot mess to me. Who will take home the $10,000 and the title of Tattoo Titan? First, enter the tattoo shop, Ricky Docks from Tampa, Florida. I've been tattooing for eight years. I own my own shop. I do various amount of styles. I've done contrast and some color work. I've done phoenixes with lots of color. Tattooing has changed my life because it, it gives me a purpose. I love it because it made me love people. Entering the tattoo shop next, Connie Corona from Glendale, Arizona. I've been tattooing for 20 years. My styles I like to do are black and gray, Aztec, I like to do Asian. I also do tribal, I do new school. Pretty much anything my client wants. My oldest son is getting married, so if I win $10,000, that would provide me to help them out a little bit. Coming in next is Alexis Rivera from Clementon, New Jersey. I've been tattooing for 10 years. The styles I do are neo-traditional, traditional, realism, black and gray. I also do new school and Japanese. A big reason I want the $10,000 is because we just had a son who's uh, almost a year old now, and we're getting mold in our bedroom. That's why I want the $10,000 to help me along with that. And our final artist to enter is Johnny Hayden from Cleveland, Ohio. I've been tattooing for right around 12 years. A Johnny tattoo has a lot of coverage. It'll be seen from about five, 10 feet away. I like really big, bold, deep color and deep blacks and grays. I also do uh, portraits, uh, abstract work, really into tribal, stuff that kind of like just, just hits you from the side. I feel I'm a tattoo titan because I have a unique style. Artists, you'll be competing in three rounds. Skin's choice, artist's choice, and judge's choice. Let's meet our judges. First up, Maya Bailey. Working out of his Atlanta tattoo shop, City of Ink, Maya Bailey's work can be seen on some of the biggest names in the world of hip hop and sports. Next up, Bernadette Macias. Her beautiful face has appeared on tattoo magazines and billboards across the globe. She is the face of soul and clothing. And Ami James not only owns tattoo parlors across the globe, but he also starred on the hit show, Miami Ink. I am an immediately nervous. I know Ami's tough, and he says it like it is. So that scares me. <laughs> In this round, all your skins want a tattoo devoted to love. In each of your tattoo cases, you will find a personal item your skin has left for you. Your challenge is to use that item as the centerpiece for your tattoo. You'll have a total of three hours to sketch your design and complete your tattoo. Artists, please open your cases. Okay, artists, your items are a sugar skull, heart pendants, a Spartan helmet, and an Asian dragon. Yes, I got dragon. Cause two things you can't go wrong with it, that's the, the, the dragon and the tiger. And you know, so I got the dragon. So yeah, I'm, I'm really stoked about the dragon. Artists, your time starts now. Skins, please come on in and find your artist. I'm Kenny, nice to meet I'm you. I'm Connie, nice <laughs> to meet you, my dear. So, the yes. helmet. My wife is Greek. We did a honeymoon in Greece, and I figured I'd do something that would honor her helmet. Any ideas what you want to do with it other than the helmet? Just holding, like, a, a shield and, and having a spear. My skin wants a full warrior, so that kind of makes me nervous because I'm not a big history buff as far as the Spartans and the Trojans and stuff, so I'm thinking really hard about this one. <laughs> How's it going, man? How's it going? Good. What's your name? My name's Matt. Matt Johnny. Hey, nice to meet you. What do you uh, What do you think about getting? Uh, I want to get a uh, sugar skull. Okay. Uh, my wife for our wedding. Okay. I uh, made it. Made the the decorations, the table markers. Uh, so she made uh, those into like Day of the Dead sugar skulls. Gotcha. So I'm looking to get one like up here. Any other things on side on the skull other than like like flowers or anything like that? Or... I don't want exactly how the skull is. Right. You know, definitely use your artistic uh, interpretation to you know kind of kind of run with it, man. I'm gonna hook you up. Cool. For All sure. Right. Thanks, man. What's up, buddy? Nice to meet you. My name is Mike. Alexis. 
are you thinking? What's going on here? That's a necklace that I got my girlfriend, and uh, it has both of our initials on it. I have a side already started on my chest for her with okay. her lips and her birthday and the word love and okay. other tattoos that we share. And I was thinking maybe just two hearts um, with like an M and a V and some flowers, bright colors. I have concerns because it's hard to be creative when you just have a tattoo between other tattoos and I'm thinking what am I gonna do with this thing so uh, any kind of flowers just something maybe cool. like a lotus flower represents change and stuff like that I have to see what kind of space we're working with yeah. but uh yeah. we'll see we could do something with the lotus or, the, or you know we'll figure something out that's cool hi hey how My you name doing is so you picked out a dragon yeah okay I love dragons um why the dragon um me and my boyfriend um for our first anniversary I gave him that because well, he has a bad attitude, so the dragon matches him. Okay, so you want a bad-ass dragon. Yeah. I'll be back with some designs. I finish my sketch, and I walk over to my skin. I'm pretty confident with I'm feeling good about it. I mean, I would like to have that, that, that actual spot and helmet. Okay. Yeah, like a right. helmet like that. Yeah, please. But no, he isn't feeling it, and I have to go back and redraw now. So I'm trying to put it, a lotus and hearts, the initials, aesthetically it doesn't really fit together with other tattoos he has. So that's, that's the, the tricky part. All right, let's do this. Not done yet, but I'm gonna blow it up a little bigger. Cool. Like this side, we're kind of facing the inside. Nice, nice. Give me a couple more seconds real quick. Cool. I draw a really quick sketch of the skull put it on his arm because I know time was a factor. It was just a, a basic trace of, of an actual skull. Everything else is freehand, freehand shading, and freehand everything else. So she gives me this Asian dragon, and I'm used to drawing medieval dragons. So what I'm attempting to do is take the two and combine a dragon. Tell me what you think. Bad. Good. I like it. I'm thinking. I'm gonna win on creativity because I'm gonna do a medieval Asian dragon who's seen something like that. My skin's looking at me like I don't know what I'm doing. I've still gotta draw all this stuff I don't know anything about and it's freaking me out. I finally get agreement from him. That works. Gonna be good for you? Yeah, it works. So I start tattooing. I have to do it pretty quick because it's gonna take me some time to get into this tattoo. So I'm, I'm tattooing and Omni comes over and I'm like, holy <laughs> because I know he's big on dragons. How long you been tattooing? Eight years. Eight years. Cool, well good luck. He doesn't give me uh, any critique or anything. He ain't say about my dragon, man. And I don't know if to take it as it's good or it's it's bad. How you doing, Connie? Hey. What's the warrior? Well, it's a, a Spartan warrior. A Spartan warrior for yeah. the Greeks. I thought they had spears, the Spartans, no? Ami decides to tell me that um, Spartans don't carry axes. <laughs> they carry spears. I've already started outlining it, so there's not a whole lot I can do about that. All right, good luck. Thank you. So what you got going on here, man? He, uh, he wanted the sugar skull, something that represented him and his, uh, his marriage. So where's the sugar skull? We're kind of like just working our way into the, uh, to the sugar skull? The style of it. We're doing a different style of a sugar skull. All right. Yeah. We're I've not never really... seen a sugar skull without all the sugar. He kind of made a joke of, you know, where's the sugar? It's, it's, it's supposed to be a sugar skull. And uh, at the same time, it kind of a light kind of hit off, and I was like, well, I got to start adding a little more color, make it look like it's some candy on there. Cool. Well, good luck. Thank you, brother. And um, I will see you guys in a bit then. Yes, sir. I feel I'm achieving a good balance between the other tattoos and now this new one. And in comparison to everybody else's, I, I, I'm hoping that my colors will stand out. All right, artists, you have 30 minutes left. Looking at my tattoo, I think I got a good chance to make it into the next round. The competition's fierce, but we're gladiators when it comes to tattooing. The final details that I'm putting on the tattoo are just specks of color to represent the candy that's kind of falling around it. Hopefully the judges actually look at it and say, you know, this is a quality style. 
If I get marked out this round, I'm gonna be extremely disappointed in myself. Five, four, three, two, one. Time's up, machine's down. Artists, your skins all wanted tattoos to express the love they have for their significant other. But before you hear from them, they want to hear about your work. Johnny, please tell the judges about your tattoo. He wanted a sugar skull or something representing a sugar skull. I wanted to drop a bomb on it and make it look really good. Let me start by telling you what I do think that you have good in this tattoo. Your shading is smooth. You have good transitions from dark to light. You know, you almost technically sound, you know? You, you're, you got there. The line work looks decent, but too much is going on. You basically piled up so many things on there that didn't need to be there. To me, the, the sugar skull should have just been the main focal point rather than this blue that's creeping through black and gray that doesn't make any sense where it's coming from, smoke that comes out of the middle of the forehead. This translates to me a tornado just hit Hot Mess City. Like, I don't understand. I just don't understand. And you have the same, con like, there's no difference between your contrast. The background is the same color as this. So this whole thing looks like it's all together. You have no bold line separating the focus. And, a, and yeah, no different, you know, shades in the background, different contrast so that you can see something in the front, something in the back. It's just one, one big hot mess to me. The style is really abstract, but at the same time, it's really busy. Okay. You know, even in abstract, you gotta have some kind of logic, a little bit logic behind it. It just looked like he was really trying to impress us. But look, I'm gonna show you I can do color, I can show you I can do black and gray, I can show you I can do everything. You know, we understand you can do that, but at the same time, we wanna see a clean tattoo. If I was looking at this and I was an art critic, I'm like, oh, this artist just has an extreme ADD problem. Right. You know, he just jumps around in styles. Just stick with one pattern. Yes, sir. Ricky, please tell the judges what you did here. What I did there was created my own style of dragon, my world of tattooing. It's what I seem the dragon to be. Well, what I like about this tattoo, it's a mixture between medieval and a Japanese, and you explain why you did it that way, you're seeing things in your way, which I give you props on that, man. Thanks. But I'm just not a fan of the actual illustration of the drawing. Me personally, I think you bet off probably with it doing just some more of a, maybe of a, a sleek tribal dragon. Just work with solid blacks on here because clearly to me, you need to work on your shading and your line work. Okay, I'll eat that. Are you happy with this tattoo? Would you do anything different? Probably would have gave it some color. And um, instead of the smoky stuff, flames. Some flames? Yeah. I have so many problems with this design. Fundamentals of dragon. The legs always come from the same place. See that? You don't have one arm coming out of the middle of your torso and the other arm coming out of your shoulder, do you? I see what you're saying looking at it from this point. When you do a dragon, use reference. It'll probably help you a lot. There's no floating scales. It's scaled all the way from the front to the back to the last tail. You just randomly place scales as if some places are just smooth and it's got skin and it's got scales. This is probably the worst dragon I've ever seen in my whole entire life of tattooing by anybody that's been tattooing for eight years. They're giving it to him so bad that it's got me nervous. It makes me think, crap, like, what are they gonna do to me? Alexis. Please explain your tattoo. Yeah, he gave me a tiny little pendant that just had their initials on it, and he wanted to have some the hearts with their initials on it, and then he thought about a flower, and he brought in a lotus. I like your color saturation. Thanks. In your flower, it's very bright, it's very pretty. Even in your little hearts, it's very solid, your coloring. What color is this? Is that a, like a hot pink? What is that color? Oh, it's a very pretty pink. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Whatever that is against this, this, against this bluish color in the background, man, that is really, I think that was a great choice because it's solely, totally top, you know, like opposite on a, on a color wheel. So it makes it automatically stand out. I kind of dig it in a way, you know? It's kind of like, it is what it is. It's not the coolest design I've ever seen because I think you're, you have to learn how to draw a lotus. Yeah, I don't, okay. right, I don't do well, very often. Guess what, best way to draw a lotus, this is how you 
the leaves will go like this, and then they'll start surrounding the heart. You feel me? Yep, totally. Makes sense, right? Yep, completely. <laughs> Connie, he brought a Spartan helmet because his wife is from Greece, and he just wanted something that was going to make it seem like he was her warrior. Connie. Yes. How do you feel about your tattoo? To be perfectly honest, I'm not familiar with Vikings. That's I was, not a Viking, to, Connie. Or not a Viking, but um. That's Spartan. probably where you where you started Spartan. making your mistake. <laughs> is the fact that it's not a Viking. Spartan. It's a Spartan, <laughs> but, but I just want to make sure you know that. Okay. I'm not confident with this tattoo to begin with, and that just made it worse. And I am feeling like a tiny little speck of dust on the floor. <laughs> but let's talk about the good things about this tattoo. You have some good shadings here some nice smooth shading here. The, you know, there's a little choppiness here and there. For somebody that does a lot of black and gray, it could have been a lot better. Yeah. Overall, this is not a bad tattoo. It's just a whole bunch of warriors mixed together in there. You got a Viking, you're a Viking right here. You look like a Roman right here, you know? I understand what you was doing, because I'm not a history buff myself, yeah. but at the same time, I probably would have did a little bit more research. Thank you. Artists, we've all heard what the judges have to say. If it's your tattoo that shows up on the screen, you have been marked out. Artists, we've all heard what the judges have to say. If it's your tattoo that shows up on the screen, you have been marked out. Being a tattoo artist carries a lot of responsibilities. But the fact is this person that you didn't do such a good job on is gonna have that for the rest of her life. And I really think that you should think about that. Okay. I have been tore up like that since I was a little kid. Doesn't mean I'm gonna stop doing what I'm doing. I'll go back home and you know, you know, I'll keep drawing and keep tattooing. All right, artists, please open your tattoo cases. Your flash art is a heart and a dagger. Your challenge is to use the two pieces of flash art as inspiration for your tattoo. This is awesome. That's like an artistic exercise for me. I'll take two drawings that have nothing to do with each other and make it one drawing. You will have a total of three hours to sketch your design and complete your tattoo. Your time starts now. All right. So I meet my skin, Vinny. As long as there's no like a lot of like traditional heart and dagger has banners. No, 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 no banners. If you don't have to say, that's fine. Yeah. That's cool by me. Automatically, my my brain, heart and dagger, roses, super traditional. So I'm thinking I'm gonna do maybe a, a flower shaped like a heart. The last thing I want to do is come up with a cliche, boring tattoo. What's up, bro? Hey, what's going on, man? How are you? Good, Rich. All right, Johnny. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too. What I was thinking about doing is doing like a like a Bernini, like a statue. I pitched my ideas of an angel kind of standing in black fire, black smoke, with a, a halo um, would be the shape of a heart. Is that cool? Oh, definitely. Oh, my man. Hello, I'm Connie. Corey. Nice to meet you, Corey. Right away, I have ideas popping into my head. You'd use a traditional dagger going through the middle of a traditional heart, or a realistic looking heart. That could, that could do, yes. Okay. Let me come up with a couple of sketches for you, okay. and then I'll have sure. you check them out. All right? Yeah. All right. In the last round, I saved time by doing a quick drawing, so I'm doing the same thing. I kind of do that with all my tattoos. Got a dagger, got the heart. I'm gonna drop that boy right there. We'll do a little fire right here at the bottom. That looks good. I'm just a little unsure about like the the shape of the flower. I'm, I'm not doing this full finished drawing yet, and I can tell he's kind of questioning. So I get another piece of paper, draw it, and just let's just go forward to draw it completely the way I'm thinking. A real dark shade in here. Yeah. And then usually something very bright on the inside. Right. Like a yellow or something, yeah, yeah. or like oranges or... I'm sitting down to tattoo Corey. I've taken a little bit too much time drawing this thing. I've got to get set and get this started. The most important part for this tattoo is actually the line work. Because the very next day, it's going to pop off and be extremely bold, and it's going to simmer down some of the high gradient shades I'm going to put into this. So I have one final hurdle. i got to show Vinny the final drawing. 
and hopefully he's totally down for it. Nice. Cool. Very nice. All right, I just gotta make a stats all day. Yeah, yeah. And I show it to him, and he says, Ace. I feel good. You know what? I think they start tattooing before me, but I'm confident in my drawing now, and I know in the time I got left, this is gonna look awesome. Guys, no stress, but you got two minutes left. I'm just kidding. <laughs> How's it going, Connie? Good. 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 So you're going full color on this thing. Full color. Full color. Yeah. Yeah, I like color. I think you need a little more black shading on that, some of that in the heart. Okay. Off the For veins. For dimension. Off the veins, yeah. Just I think it'll give you better, you know, values and you'll have a little more contrast there. Okay. Cool. Thank Good you. luck. Thank you. How's it going? What's going on, man? All right. Don't make this too monotone. You right. Know? Right. The differentiation between everything is almost the same grays. I would do something to the dress to change it from the body. To me, it's like I can't tell where the body's in and out of it. I think he's looking at the actual skin tone of the piece, and he doesn't realize that uh, that I use a really light gray shade. I think once I put the outline on there, it's gonna like pop it out. It's gonna be like real, be. super bold. It's just not gonna really pop to him right now, uh, or to me, or to anybody else until the next day. We'll see what happens, but you know. Yeah, but I'm um, definitely taking your word for it. Gotta you. get that contrast. Gotcha. All right, man, good luck. Thank you, sir. Oh, wow. That white is making a crazy difference. I still have some coloring to do. I have to finish out my circle and, you know, get it a little cleaner. I feel like I'm going to be going to the last second of this one. What I'm doing to give contrast to my tattoo is dropping some really thick, bold outlines to this gray uh, shaded piece. Hopefully, they can look through all the busyness that's going on right now. I just want to do a, a good job, and hopefully he likes it by the, uh, by the end of the process. In my final moments, I'm focusing on the tiny details, the things the judges are going to notice, the highlights, the light source, the handle, the indents, the shading, and the heart. <laughs> really impressed by this piece. I can't wait uh, for them to see this. I think it went bigger than the other two. I think the judge will appreciate what I've done. I'm getting a little nervous. The final thing I need to do is white highlights. In the last five seconds are these quick white lines. Five, four, three, two, one. Time's up, machine's down. Thank you so much, man. All right, man. Thanks a lot, brother. That's amazing. Yeah, I'm happy with it. On this round, everybody upped their game. So that makes me nervous. Artists, you had to use a heart and dagger as inspiration for your tattoo. The judges have all had a chance to review your work, but before you hear from them, they want to hear from you. Alexis? The guy just wanted a heart and dagger on his calf, and he kind of gave me free reign to kind of mess with certain things, so I thought about making the heart a rose, and then the bow and everything kind of involved into it. So how do you feel about this tattoo? I liked it. I, I had fun. I think every tattoo I do, I, in hindsight, I kind of want to change certain things, but I still like it. Good because it's the most creative tattoo I've seen so far in this competition. Thank you. The idea of having this arrow going straight down with a bow, that's just, that's really, really cool. The fact that your rose is shaped like a heart is just genius to me. The arrow goes through the heart, it's amazing. I love creativity and you 100% got this. I love you, I love the style of rose that you did at the bottom. I think that was pretty clever. Since you have so much darkness right here at the bottom, I probably would have put a little bit of tune right behind, you know, some of it. And uh, you basically only use, like, blue, red, and yellow. You know what I'm saying? I just think you could have used a little bit more traditional colors, and the background could have been really bright. But everything else, man, this is a really solid piece. You should be proud of yourself. Thank you very much. No doubt. Johnny, please tell the judges about your work. Wanted kind of like a, like a guardian, so like an angel guardian, kind of holding back uh, from the hells of fire. We gave you advice on uh, the first round, and we was like, yo, just kind of keep it clean and make sure it's not too busy. 
you lost a lot of your body. Like, I don't know where the body starts and where the, where the wings start. You can't say the difference between the body and the clothing. You know what I'm saying? I looked at this forever before I even noticed that you have this itty bitty dagger that you can't even tell is there because it's the same as its background and its surroundings. What you should do is do a thicker line to outline the body, to outline the wings and the sword. You do the same thing all over. So I can't tell your dagger from your robe from your wings. It's just a huge mass where it's all just blurred together to me. As creative as you are, you're almost battling yourself with being so creative but un unable to pull it off. You have one leg here coming out of all this cloth or whatever it is, but there's not one thing that insinuates to me that that's a leg. This is the only thing that I really like about it because it's kind of looking up and it's got an abstract look to it. It's almost like Nouveau, but it's not. It's just got a cool feel from here up. And then everything down here is a bowl of pasta. Just because uh, the picture is still, it's brand new, it's, it's still... Re well, you give me excuses, but I know what things heal up like. Right, right. You can't tell me this tattoo is going to heal up smooth. I know better. I've been tattooing for too long. The judges, they're not looking at it as a uh, as next day standpoint as far as, as far as the healing process. I know that it always looks better the very next day. They're not uh, accepting that truth. Connie. When I did this on my skin, I talked him into going more with a realistic heart rather than just the, the plain heart. I really like that you did a human heart. Although, I felt like if you were going to try to do a realistic heart, you should have got reference and done a realistic heart. The way that you drew it and the colors that you used, the yellow the yellow veins, it looks a bit alien. I probably would have little, did a little blood too on this thing, man, because it's a realistic heart. Or even though on the subtle ones, they kind of trickle through the, you know, right on the knife a little bit, you know, a little bit on the, you know, a little bit of stuff. Okay. Connie, it's creative. You're the only one that chose to do a human heart with a dagger through it. But one of the most important things doing a dagger is that you start doing... Yes. Me saying yes. This is where the dagger should have been. When you're doing a dagger, balance is everything also. The heart should have been here, and the knife should have been here. And then you should have had. That looks to me a proportionate tattoo. You're creative with the heart. The color's solid. But I really would have expected more out of you. Artists, we've all heard what the judges have to say. If it's your tattoo that shows up on the screen, you have been marked out. We've all heard what the judges have to say. If it's your tattoo that shows up on the screen, you have been marked out. Johnny, the reason we eliminated you is because we've asked you to change a little bit from the first tattoo. You still made almost the same mistakes and it kind of got lost. I don't think the judges got it right. If I was to eliminate somebody, it would have been Connie. Uh, I think her work was a little more amateur for the, uh, the, the years that she's been tattooing. Everything about it was way off to me. Congratulations, Alexis and Connie. You've made it to the final round. One of you is going to become the next tattoo titan, walking away with $10,000. Inside each of your tattoo cases, the judges have left something to show you which style you'll be working in. I feel relieved about surviving to the finals, but I'm also super nervous about the judges challenge. I'm not sure what they're going to do, so that I have I'm nervous. I open up my tattoo case and I just see a top secret file. I have no idea what it even is. I just see writing top secret. I'm like, should I open this? Should I, I have, okay, am I, are we doing secret stuff? Like, are we gonna do invisible ink? The challenge is a cover-up. We've all experienced love gone wrong or relationships that just didn't work out. So what do you do when you have your ex's name permanently inked on you? There's tattoo removal, which hurts really, really bad, or the cover-up. We're looking for a brand new tattoo. I don't want to be reminded of the old tattoo. 
Artists, you will have four hours to sketch your design and complete your tattoo. Your time starts now. What's up, dude? What's up, man? AJ. Nice to meet you. So, uh, what are we getting into here? Get rid of this wretched past. He shows me the tattoo. Just big, graffiti, weird letters. It's not gonna be an easy cover-up. I'm kinda have no idea what I'm gonna do at first. Thinking, uh, big old panther head. We do something maybe big and bold and black. I pitch him a black panther head, and he's down. He said he would be happy with a black circle over the thing, because he hates the name. And uh, he's down to get it covered no matter what. Hello, I'm Connie. Hi, I'm Brian. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you, Brian. Let me see what we're doing. I'd like to do just the, the lettering. Get rid of all that around here. Yeah, I'd like to keep the uh, heartogram. I'm just focusing on doing this one super cool, badass panther head. I'm making gruesome teeth, and we figure the panther mauled his ex-girlfriend, so I'm gonna make it bloody, and <laughs> it's gonna be awesome. All right, dude, you ready to rock? Ready when you are. You ready to do this? <laughs> yeah. Absolutely. I'm gonna do a lotus that will actually cover the name. I can get rid of those letters with the shading and the outline. And then we're gonna do just some black and gray flames kind of coming off of it. I'm not going to do a stencil. I'm gonna take a, a marker to his skin and draw it exactly on his skin so I can do the shape and the way his arm moves to fit it. Gabriella is about to go bye-bye. I have had a name covered up on me, and I actually had to cover my own name on my ex-husband. He didn't pay me, he didn't tip me, he didn't say thank you, and it was way too good of a cover-up. And now for the $10,000 hey. tattoo. What's up, man? Well, you're not done yet. <laughs> I'm a little torn because I want to keep it traditional, but I don't, I kind of like, you know, little pieces showing. If I'm like, should I put a little extra in there to get away from it, or should I just kind of keep it traditional, you know? So that's like my, my balance that I'm unsure of. The thing is, I, I want you to do what you feel needs to be done yeah. to pull off the cover-up. Right now, I still see little peaks yep. here and there, yep. just to give you a little more pressure. <laughs> Thanks, And thanks. the $10,000. Did, right. did I happen to mention the $10,000? You did, a couple times. Cool. Leaking house, $10,000. Right, thanks, thanks, thanks. <laughs> Get out of here. No pressure, though. <laughs> Enjoy yourself. <laughs> Connie, how's it going? Good. Yeah? I'm having fun with this one. You're having fun with this one. I've never heard anybody having fun with cover-ups, usually. It's, uh, you know, it's not very often that we hear that. Are you uh, just doing black and gray? Yeah. I like color, too. I'm just, with this one, with the lettering and stuff, I'm, I'm having more fun with it. And the flames, you just uh, you just drew those on, put them on there? Yeah, I just freehanded this on with a marker. Well, good luck. Thank you. And we'll see you in a bit. All righty. My main thing is right now is not overworking the tattoo. If you overwork that skin, it's gonna end up looking bad in the long run. And this tattoo's worth $10,000, so that's getting to me a little bit. The last few moments, I'm a little paranoid. I start looking over everything and I'm like, oh, is this right? A little more black here. This is the $10,000 tattoo. This is the last one. I have no other chances here. This is where it ends. Time's up, machines down. Artists, say goodbye to your skins. He's ready. Thanks, man. Thank you very much. Let me do that. I feel confident in my tattoo, but I'm also looking at Alexis's tattoo, and uh, it's really good. Alexis and Connie, you each had to do cover-up tattoos to extinguish a flame of a former lover. The judges have all had a chance to review your work, but before you hear from them, they want to hear from you. Alexis, please explain your work to the judges. So he wanted to get that covered, obviously, and um, we started thinking Pantherhead, because all the black. So um, 
I decided to go that route. I like your color saturation on this. You really, really put the color in. I like the design. I think it was very creative. I just um, wish I didn't see the oil tattoo as much, but I like it. Alexis, being in the tattoo shop for as long as I have been in the tattoo shop, at one point, the number one thing for cover-ups was always like, do a Black Panther, because really it works the best for cover-ups. But that given, you know, where I see this tattoo sticking out of some of right, right here, this black should have just dragged all the way through. And the more black you would have actually piled up there, the nicer and smoother it would have looked. Man, you packed this in there. You got it, you packed that black, which is really cool, because I'm a big fan of using black. But a lot of, like, a lot of dark colors, like purples and blues, also can be used to cover up some of that old tattoo. Yeah. Overall, you did the job, you covered it up. This peeking through a little bit, man, that's all. Connie, my skin wanted to leave his original tattoo in the middle, which was the heartogram. But around the outside, it had his name and his former girlfriend's name and forever underneath. And he just wanted to get rid of that, keep it black and gray. I'm happy with it. So when I initially looked at this, it took me a while to see even where the name was, which is a really good thing. The thing that I don't like about this is flower petals don't look like flower petals to me. The shading doesn't make a lot of sense. How you put so much dark on both sides and dark in the middle, and they're all facing like different directions. They don't. It doesn't look like a flower to me at all, but the challenge was to cover up a tattoo, which you did 100%. Thank you. I think it was smart that you actually, some of the words were thick at the bottom. I remember saying forever, and how you went right off the line of the F and certain things like that to hide it. Because sometimes the cover up line work in a tattoo is really hard because if you touch over it, sometimes it swells back up, especially if it's scar tissue under it. So you going over the line and just taking certain letters and going off those lines, I think that was really smart of you. Thank you. Yeah. Connie, all in all, you did a good job covering this up. But it's, it's gonna pop out a little bit. You're gonna see little lines of the name or whatever, or the forever left on there. And I think that's gonna happen because you use a lot more gray wash, and gray wash doesn't usually work. I see little specks in here and there, you know, a little bit right there, a little bit right there. I would've liked to see it a little bit cleaner, but all in all, I'm pretty happy with this tattoo. I think both of you have made good choices and what you use to cover up this tattoos. And um, both of you did a good job today. Artists, I'm gonna ask you to step out of the tattoo shop while the judges decide who will be the next tattoo titan walking away with $10,000. This was a close one for sure. Yeah, they both yeah. This was a the close challenge. One. You can see the tattoos in both of them. They yeah. gonna, eventually, when they heal up, you're gonna see them. One did the same kind of style every tattoo as well. Every brown, black and gray. And every round color. That's true, actually. You know, at the end of the day, both these guys came in. They gave their best. They did the job. The cover-up was done. So we have a winner. Yeah, we do. Okay. Artists, our judges have made a decision. If it's your tattoo that shows up on the screen, you'll become the next Tattoo Titan walking away with $10,000. Congratulations, Thank you. Take care, Connie. I feel horrible about not winning. I, I thought mine was good enough, but it wasn't, and I just have to live with that now. This was an amazing once-in-a-lifetime experience, and it taught me a lot. It was definitely a close, close race here. We just felt that you were a little bit more creative, and there you go. You're the winner. <laughs> Thank you, guys. Uh, thank you so much. Congratulations, Alexis. You are a tattoo titan. I just can't stop smiling. As tough as the, the judges are, it feels awesome to say, hey, you won. We think you're better than these three and here's your check for $10,000 because you earned it, and that's awesome. Saturday night. You know Christian is his boyfriend, right? <laughs> Who the hell is this boy, and how come we haven't met him? Hey, guys, this is my boyfriend, Shane. Do you hunt? 
I'll shoot you. What's the biggest buck you ever killed? 12 point, 109, and one last year. Hell, that was my November. Your sister teach you how to hunt? <laughs> the hell are you doing, man? You were making eye contact with another dude while licking your fingers. Man, can't even eat a piece of fried chicken without you getting all weird? My big redneck family, Saturday night at 10, 9 central.